I swear I will. Fuck you and your queen. That's enough. So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders. And getting pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there. Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage. What in the seven bloody hells are I you talking about? I will not let about? you bark orders at me. I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck do you What are you, you going to do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. There's the asshole I remember. Come on, Croft. You can do better than you that. Ah! Ah, you could never handle a fair fight, could you? Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck this up. Are you up. looking forward to it? Mind your own business, Croft. You don't need to worry about us. Just take care of this. Because if she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Bisco, anyway! what the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? <gasps> <gasps> Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do. Fuck Croft. You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? <laughs> your fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into Marine with you. You get me burned by a dragon! You did this. <laughs> Come on, Asher. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. I'm not going to do that. Oh, her. Whatever your problem is with Marine, you have to get over it. Get over it? I was a slave. Here, in this fucking city. <sighs> I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. Lance, what kind of a monster would do that to a child? To him, we were not children. We were his playthings. His... Entertainment. There was this boy... We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it, smiling. I'm... I'm, I'm so sorry, Beska. I don't want your pity. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down.
I know you won't. Oh man. <laughs> you shouldn't say that. <laughs> Why not? Mira, I'll meet you inside. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? I need to speak with Lords Morgrin and Andros. One of them might be working against my family. Doing what? If I knew that, I wouldn't be here. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you, but I can't risk it. You said you'd help me, remember? And I've been trying. But this isn't going to help your situation. Are you sure you want to risk it? I have to. <sighs> All right. Versuchen wir es. You owe me for this. She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. A bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. He gets a bit carried away. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. Though I hear you don't partake yourself. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people oh, and... Oh, Lord Tarwick! <laughs> what was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little loads. <Stop> <laughs> <it. laughs> What? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? I'm sorry, I... I I'm, I'm rather thirsty. Oh, allow me. No, I can get it myself. Thank you. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! Hmm. Wir müssen jetzt herausfinden, wer den White Hills hilft. Crowd. Food. Wir schauen uns das erstmal an. Das sieht ein bisschen aus wie Käse. Wir schauen hier mal runter. Oh, it seems so calm out there. Mhm. So, wir essen mal etwas. Ich 
schließlich sollte man hier nicht äh, hungrig rumlaufen. Da ging es nochmal um den toten Soldaten. Aber es ist immer noch nicht rausgekommen, dass ja wir das waren. Mal gucken, hier hätten wir Andros und hier hätten wir Morgren. Ich bin der Meinung, Andros ist der, aber... Mh, er könnte es genauso gut sein. Wir hören mal erstmal hierzu. Was die zu sagen? Okay, das war nicht sonderlich informativ. Wir gehen hier mal dran vorbei. Und hoffen mal, dass Lady Marjorie hier nicht ist. Wir I recognize that wine. Wir trinken aber mal keinen Wein. Hallo Lord Andros. Wir hören mal zu. It is a lot, but I know how to spend it. Hmm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Ah. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? Okay, also Lord Andros ist immerhin schon mal der, der für Lord Whitehill arbeitet. Damit hätten wir unseren Verdächtigen, den wir... Aber wir gucken noch, was Lord Morgren zu sagen hat. Und warum würdest du nie aufhören, mit Ironwood zu verhandeln? Ist da nicht mehr eine Demand für dich? Ich kann nicht vorstellen, dass das der Fall wäre. Kein Grund für so eine wilde Spekulation. Ich habe einfach nicht mehr Interesse verloren. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? <laughs> no, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. Mm hmm. We talk first with Sarah. Sarah? Lord Tarwick? Well met, Lady Mira. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Have you had any luck? Luck? With what? I saw you looking at Lord Morgan over there. This place is full of eligible men. I assumed you were on the lookout for a husband. That isn't really what Mira is interested in. Nonsense. You must have your eye on someone. Oh, don't press her, Garibald. I'm only curious. No harm in that. You can tell me. What do you know about Lord Andros? <laughs> Look elsewhere, Mira. That man is married to his gold. And from what mm -hmm. I hear, he never did enjoy the company of women. I should be going. Stay out of trouble, Mira. We can ihn ja noch mal fragen. Hello again, Lady Mira. <laughs> Goodness, Mira. I didn't expect to see you back so soon. Please excuse me. Okay, ja gut. Dann wollen die doch nicht noch mal mit uns reden. Wir könnten jetzt mit Lord Andros reden oder mit Lord Morgren. Jetzt ist die Frage, was ist denn besser? Wir reden mal erst mit ihm. Come on. Oh, please, if you'll excuse me. Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. If I tell you how I did it, what's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. But I admire the gall. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. I noticed you and Andros arguing earlier. I'm sorry you had to see that. I 
told him it was not the time. What were you arguing about, if you don't mind my asking? Well, a bold question deserves a bold answer, doesn't it? I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. That man would be nothing without me. It appears we have an enemy in common, Lord Morgren. I hadn't thought of it that way. Then perhaps you'll have better luck against Andros and his new partner, Lyman Lannister. He's hmm. working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. <laughs> Leave him alone. Please excuse me. Wir können hier jetzt noch mal zuhören. Das machen wir. I've already told you. And didn't we agree to stop talking business? All right, Ricard. How about something more personal then? Oh, you're calling me Ricard now. Well, when are you going to get married? I <lacht> Ich glaube, hier brauchen wir nichts weiter hören. Wir wissen ja jetzt Bescheid, Lord Andros und Lyman Lannister. Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister. <laughs> Shit. You startled me. Here, let me help. That's very kind of you. Thank you. But I'm fine. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? From what I hear, you're in the business of making rather important deals happen. Well, I don't know about that. Come on, don't be modest. I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. You can trust me, Lord Lyman. I won't tell anyone. I... well... I suppose Lyman, I could just... What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Lady Marjorie. Okay. Lady Marjorie. Sarah hat uns gerade noch mal gerettet. Gerade so. Lady Mira. That was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. Just tell me, Lord Tarwick. It's important. I may be willing to tell you. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Hmm. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. 
I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Uh -huh. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I need to know her family, her parentage. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Hmm. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. I won't tell. I promise. Good. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor mm. Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira? Also Mira wird von Tag zu Tag besser in dem Game of Thrones. Das sag ich jetzt mal. Wir sprechen mal mit Lyman Lannister. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just... Just leave. Look at you. You're shaking. It's an old injury. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? What are you saying? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. Lord Andros has betrayed you. I know everything. What? What do you... The milk of the poppy. You drink it like wine. Ever since your injury at Lannisport. He wouldn't... Andros wouldn't... He's not your friend. He's been using you. I trusted him. He spilled your secrets. So why not spill his? Andros is hiring sellswords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... That army will destroy my family! That was his hope, I'm sure, but I... You bloody traitor! You promised me! Then you told everyone? What are you talking about? You're a liar. I should never have trusted you. She told me everything. Hmm. Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. As have you, my lord. Because I know everything you're planning. And I'm going to destroy you. 